Welcome back. It is Money Monday, and it's also Cyber Monday, a big day of shopping online. But after this weekend, there's a good chance you don't have much left to spend. So what do you do if you have already spent too much and Christmas is still almost a month away? Well, financial expert Joe Burt is here with us this morning to talk about it. Good morning. Good, morning, Lou. good to see you. Good to see you. All right, you're going to give us a bit of a history lesson this morning. Where did the term Black Friday actually come from? Black Friday started about 1950. What was happening is, is employers found that the day after Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. a lot of people called in sick. Ah. And Black Friday, because of like the black bubonic plague, everybody has the, has the plague on Friday. Yeah. So that's where it started. The 1960, uh, 19, 1961, it was coined with a uh, Philadelphia newspaper because of the traffic jams in the malls. They call it Black Friday. And ever since then, it's been Black Friday. Doesn't it also mean it pushes businesses back into the black? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, and that's where it's, yes, exactly. And it transformed into that. Yeah. Okay. Now, a lot of us on Black Friday use our credit cards. Uh, we do it every year right, for the holidays. Right. Where did credit cards start? Well, first of all, the definition of a credit card card is a means for buying something you don't need at a mm. price you can't afford <laughs> with money that. you don't have. That's, That's so a credit true. card. It's, uh, credit really started about 1919. GMAC came up with the idea of buy now, pay later, so you can buy a car. Uh -huh. And in 1951, the first, it was a charge card. It wasn't a credit card by Diners Club. You have to pay it off every month. And it was actually paper. It oh. didn't turn to plastic until 1961. So we can keep it longer. You got it. Last longer <laughs> in your wallet. Right. Okay, so what should we do if we spend too much on Black Friday? We're going to spend again on Cyber Monday. We seem to do this every year. Yeah. It's such a bad habit to get into. It's we know we habit. shouldn't buy things if we don't have the cash, yeah. but we do it. Now what do we do? You know what they say, Lou? If you're in a hole, stop digging. Yeah. Really, that's what people need to do. You know, face up to it. You don't. What you don't want to do is ruin your financial future and carry this burden all year long and can't sleep at night because yeah. you've got these bills to pay recognize that you can't do it and, and and if more people did that to each other this pressure of buying all this stuff that we really don't need and mm -hmm. is destroyed you know three months into the year yeah. is the best thing you can do it's the way we ruin our holidays and ruin really the rest of the rest of the year worrying about paying this stuff off yeah and that's pretty much what the holidays have turned into exactly. buying but we need to go back to yeah. what it used to be right exactly Getting family and friends spirit. and good times exactly. you don't need all this junk no we right. really don't okay. all right Joe good advice good you, where though. can people get a hold of you just google me Joe Burke Two words, B-E-R-T. All right. Always good Thanks to see you. Happy you Cyber Monday. Thank you. <laughs> All right, John. Over.